What's up, CAD fam? Welcome back to another episode of Let's So. This week, our focus is going to be on athletic wear slash denim. In this Let's So, I really want to kind of experiment and really work with seams. Seams, hems, all that. That's going to be the main focus of this Let's So. I do go over some other things as far as you know, at aesthetic, design, and things like that. But to start it off, we're just gonna be looking at the pair of pants on body. These are parachute pants that I picked up from my thrift store. Uh, pickup that I put out a couple days ago. As you can tell, they're pretty baggy. I believe these are medium. I'm really short guys, so anything medium on me, it just looks like this. <laughs> so here's the next piece of clothing. This is just, uh, a pair of athletic wear from Champion. I believe you can get this at any athletic store. For the project that I'm going to be doing throughout the video, is just going to be working with this large denim pair of jeans. It's a light blue wash, and I want to work with seam placement. I've been working on this for a couple weeks now, and I think I've got an idea of how this generally works, and I feel like I've kind of got to a point where I'm starting to master and figure out how to taper it and complete it so I'm not seam ripping or going back and doing that undo button, smashing that undo button. I really, really, really like where I'm going with this. Now it does require a lot of time, but it's pretty solid. I've always aimed to be this specific body type. I know that with fashion, with anesthetic, you do need to have this slimmer, this specific body type as a male. And I feel like that's something that I personally had a struggle with. But as I started to grow up and I started to kind of mature, I started to realize that this slim body looking type that I was stressing over because I didn't look good in, in pictures, I didn't look good in anything. I didn't, I didn't feel confident in the clothing that I was making because I had to be a certain size. It really took a toll on me. Now that I've kind of grown and matured, I started to develop clothing for my size, my physique, and I've also took the time out to take care of my health. If you guys look at a picture of me way back in the day, I'm probably gonna put a picture here. I was a little bit chunkier, I wasn't feeling happy about myself. And to take that problem and move that with my creative directive, my fashion, my sense of fashion is is welcoming, it's, it's a great feeling, and I advise anyone of any size, whether you're on the one side or the other side, don't let that be a factor. Let that be a reason to create clothing for you know your size. Everyone's size is a perfect size, and I wanna reiterate that, and I want people to understand that it doesn't matter if you're big, or small or in between that's perfect but if that's who you and how you want to feel and look build an aesthetic around that and that's what I'm starting to do for myself and I feel like when I started doing that I started liking what I've been making I started making more of that and the type of style that I, I built for myself is a little bit baggier and not only is it baggier, it's comfortable. And I don't know what direction I am going with my body. I told a lot of people have been noticing that I've been a little bit uh, heftier, meaning that I've been bodybuilding a little bit and that's, that's my goal. So I've been building my clothing around that. So I am going to get a little bit chunkier, a little bit bigger. But I want to build my aesthetic around that. All right, so talking about the concept that I'm working with today, I really wanted to 
this experiment with placement of seams. This to many people seems wrong and I applaud people for their opinion but for me that gives me creative creative juices like it gives me a creative directive it gives me a reason to prove them wrong not in a boasting type of way but in a way that it really opens their mind to what I envision fashion should be I think that a lot of people are drawn by you know what they see in the stores I've talked about this in the last episode but they're so drawn by that that they don't have that much confidence in themselves to design and work and experiment with you know something that they envision is a work of art and I can't put that much emphasis on it right now just because I'm still developing that as an individual I'm still developing that as a sewer a designer or whatever my my title would be I want people to understand that you're gonna see videos from me that you love, you're gonna see videos from me that you don't love, and that's fine. I'm open to the idea that people are not with me on a design. They're not with me with a video concept or a video in general. That's why I'm so open and I'm, I'm not afraid to put out videos that I'm not sure how people would react. I'm not sure if they'll like it, love it, or just be very neutral about it. It's, it's an open world, it's an open space, and you want to fulfill that space with your ideas, your, 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 what your visions are, because not only are you going to find other people that are like-minded, you're also going to be creating a, a community and inspiring others to really believe in themselves if they share the same idea. Anyways, too much philosophy talk. Let's talk about what I'm doing right now. So I'm just grabbing a slim pair of pants that I worked with, or this is actually one of the pairs that I slimmed up, which you guys will see the after towards the end of the video. I am just tapering it from the back pocket down to the back side of the pants. I wanted to see if this had some sort of cool look to it. I don't know, I can't think of better words right now. But I really want to try this out. I know it's going to make the backside a little boxy, but that's why we're experimenting. That's why we're trying new things out. Everything up to this point is just going to be a work in progress, working towards perfection. One thing that a lot of people ask me is how I get my inspiration, what designers do I look into, and how do I go about processing my design, processing how I look at clothing and I've always had this I guess odd way of looking at it. I know that people are coming to my channel at different times of my I guess design career and I really went from DIYer to designer in a way that I've started to create clothing based on what I envision my fashion line starting to look like. I feel like what others would define as trashy or unfinished is what I define as my style of clothing. People are very opinionated and I just gotta accept that. I think there was a one point in my time or one point in my life that a lot of these things that I was being very frustrated about a lot of things that I was really being, I was taking it to heart a little bit more than I needed to, especially criticism, um, doesn't really affect me now. It really pushes me and drives me to be more of who I am, not more of who they want me to be. And this applies to anything in life. I think that when you get looked at, when you get criticized, when someone has an opinion of you, you want to take that opinion and use it to your advantage so you can start growing and developing yourself through your way of looking at not only fashion design I think that this applies to anything it's very general it's a very broad thing to uh, go about and talk about so to be more specific kind of answer your question 
my design, again, is based on what's going on in my life. If I make it more rugged, make it a little bit more baggy clothing, that's the type of lifestyle I'm looking at. I'm looking at being very comfortable. I'm looking about I'm looking at change to my body and that's the one way that I'm going about my inspirations. Now designers, I still am very I would say distant from looking at other designers' pieces or looking at certain inspirations. But that's pretty much the whole spiel right there. All right, so how do I do this on a day-to-day -day basis? How to do this on a week-to-week -week basis? I know that motivation is a key factor, but when you have no motivation, how do you keep going? How do you keep yourself from being stuck? For me personally, it's it's inevitable. Like that happens to me, I get un unmotivated. I go to thrift stores, I don't find something I like, I design something, I don't like how it turns out, so I throw it away. And there's been a lot of projects that you guys have never seen that I've wanted to release as a tutorial or as a let's so, but it just never comes out because it's like a throwaway. I just throw it away because I don't like it. I think when that happens, it's I, I force an idea into my mind, I force an idea into a design, I force this. Nothing should be forced. Everything should come natural. And with the way that I'm designing this pair of pants right now, everything came naturally. Now, does it look aesthetically pleasing to a lot of people? Probably not, but I wear all my clothes on my body like a champion belt, like a medal, like something that I am super proud of, that I would, I would go out on the street and tell people, yo, I made this. Not to boast about it, but to be proud of, you know, trusting myself. I think trusting yourself is one big thing that people need to really, really have when it comes to designing. Because if you can't trust yourself, you can't trust yourself to make stuff, then it's just going to be a hard time. Anyways, here are the light blue denim jeans that I customized throughout the video. Seems in the front. A little bit of a square look to the back, but I actually like how it has this like caged look in the front. The seams are a popping as always. I would not always fold it like that, but I did just for that reason or just because of that fit. Now this is a second pair of pants that I did customize throughout the week. I brought the actually stripe to the back a little bit. I wanted to kind of wrap around to the back, make the zipper bring it to the back. That's basically it. And the last piece is the parachute pants that you saw in the video. Again, I want to work with embroidery. Now, I'm not sure if I would wear this pair of pants with this fit. I didn't know how to go about this because it's a really hard pair of pants to work with. But let me know what you guys think about the pairs of pants down below. I would love to know your opinions, thoughts, and uh, comments and criticisms, if any. Hope you guys enjoyed that video. I wanted to try a different aesthetic to it. If it's not something you guys feel, let me know down in the comment section below. Otherwise, this week's challenge was to kind of experiment with different types of pants. And I feel like I've I've challenged myself in kind of very it's kind of like a very I wouldn't say it was hard, but it was really easy because I've been practicing seam placement for a little bit, but I'm not where I want to be with that, and that's totally fine. But let me know what you guys' opinion of each pants down below. Otherwise, I do want to kind of enter a comment from last video. I love when you guys comment, and I love you guys' opinion and support and all that, so. I, I read them every single time that I get a new one. I really want to be more intimate and respond to one right now. So the one video or one comment that I picked out for this video comes from Nicholas Garcia. He asks, can you do a setup video? I've been thinking about getting into sewing, but I don't know where to start, honestly. There's, there's no set way of setting up are going into sewing you just do it 
I don't want to give you a direct way of doing it because that's that doesn't work for everybody. And I want to I really want to put an emphasis on that because again, people move at their own pace. People have their own budgets. People have their own ways of looking at things. So I don't want to give you like a direct answer, but I do want to show you guys my new setup. I've switched out a couple lights. My girlfriend is somewhat of an interior designer now, so she's been helping me out with the aesthetic. So I'll show you guys real quick. All right guys, so just taking a little spin around my room. This is what it kind of looks like from afar. Again, I have this kind of rag slash closet set up right here. Has all the, the pieces that I want to work with. Has all the fabrics that I want to work with. These bins are meant for just projects. So if I get new fabrics that I can't sort out at the time, these top boxes are gonna be kind of filtering them out. And then on the bottom projects, over here of course is my sewing area. I've organized it a little bit, but it still has some more things I need to want to do and kind of finish with it. But over on this side, as you guys probably wonder how I edit my videos, I just have a simple laptop, not it's just a standard laptop. Then I decide to kind of connect it to a little monitor. That's pretty much my computer setup. Over on this side, I really like how this turned out. I went with kind of like a clear plastic organizer and then next to it is just a place to put all my cutting tools. Now I used to put it down here, but I don't know, it just looks cooler up here. And then up, up the top for lighting, I did switch it up. I went with this LED lighting all the way around. Again, I'm still playing around with the placement of it and it's not complete as well. But for the most part, it lights up my little sewing area pretty well. And for videos as well, it really, really works with the aesthetic. Now I might be switching out my color of my bat in my room. It's kind of too to be determined. I actually like the green that I picked and I don't know if I ever want to switch it out to white again or maybe some other color, but that's pretty much my room setup. I don't know what else I can really say. It's really simple. I try to be as humble as possible. Oh, and I, I really like this. So basically these are like, these hold, <laughs> These actually hold, these are, this is a dish holder, but I decided to put my spools on there. I'm gonna get more spools obviously, but for now that's what it looks like. Just some random fan, because it gets super hot. <laughs> but yeah, that's basically my room setup. Very simple. I don't want to be too crazy about it, just because it's not necessary. I feel like people that go over the top, that is for them, and that is not for me, so. Again, that is the room set. Let me kind of zoom out for you guys to view, give you like a quick overview of the room. Again, it's really simple, really, it's well organized now. Before it was just crazy. I know that I talked about this a while back, but it's a lot better now. And so that kind of wraps up the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, be sure to drop that like and subscribe. Also follow me on Instagram at Daily. And hope to catch you guys in the next video. P. Wah.